So how do you get started actually getting some, some gains here? So once your KYC identity verification is done, you've got your transaction password set up, you've funded your wallet here, you're going to have right here, this is going to show the total amount that has been funded. Before you start, this here will say zero, and this here will be the same amount as this. And this is in the transaction. So these are the funds that are going to be tied up after you go through the cycle and you've decided you want to go ahead and purchase all these transactions so you can arbitrage whatever coin the system is pulling up for you to arbitrage. Those funds are going to be tied up. It takes about two hours and sometimes four, two hours and four minutes, sometimes two hours and 10 minutes, sometimes two hours and 12 minutes. I think the longest I've seen is about two hours and 13 minutes or almost 13 minutes, but it's a little more than two hours. It takes to reconcile all that. In around about two hours or two hours and five minutes, if you were to refresh this page, you'd see bits of this will start to move over here. It doesn't happen all at once. As the transactions close out and the re reporting finalizes, it'll gradually work its way so that you're back to zero over here and your full total assets over here. This here needs to be zero before you can start looking for orders. In other words, there's a, about a two hour and 10 minute cycle. And so after about two hours and 10 minutes, you should see this is zero and all your funds are back here. That's when you run the cycle again. Don't try to run it before that. I don't know for sure. I, I've heard other people in my upline say, if you repeatedly try to run it before the funds are all back and this transaction thing is back to zero, it will end up banning your account. I don't know if that's true. I don't know what the criteria are. Once this says zero here, and this amount and this amount match, then all you have to do is just click this orange button and it will automatically come up and show you, here's the next transaction. It's gonna cost you this much of your wallet balance to do, click here to do it. And the next screen will tell you how much profit you'll earn on that and you'll have to confirm it. When you do that, it'll pop the next one up and it'll keep going through this until this balance here is down below five, dollars 5.0 when it gets below 5.0 you won't be able to transact anymore you have to wait for the next cycle you can see all the records of the stuff that's happened and the runs that have happened so if you look at the time so for example here up to here that's the last run that was done and then here you see a different time okay so with this balance I was able to run six transactions this tells you how much of your USDT was used to make that happen. And you see it goes down each time because I already used 1745 of my balance. So I had less to work with the next run and it takes it right down to that $9. This is the profit earned on each transaction. So you can see as each one goes, the amount of profit decreases. Uh, so we've gone from 523 for that click down to two cents for that click and obviously the more you have in your wallet to work with the higher these are going to be that is not an attempt to get you to fund more than you're uncomfortable with i don't care how much you fund i don't even care if you do it this is for your benefit more than anyone's this is all up to you i don't want to see people like put themselves in a tough position mathematically speaking the bigger the amount that you have funded the more profit you're going to generate per run now you can decide to just let this continue to build up as it runs. Or you can take out withdrawals as you make money. That's really up to you. Or you can do some kind of combination where you're taking out a certain percentage. Again, that's totally up to you. But what I would do is like the moment that my account is funded, the moment that I have assets here and you know I've got my KYC done, I've got my transaction password, which I guess you'd have to do that to be able to fund it in the first place. I would just click this button and run through it just to get the experience of doing it, even if you're gonna use the automation script. So for example, if you're gonna use the automation script, there's gonna be a period of time there where you're gonna have to set it up. And so there's gonna be a time period where you, like, you, you email me or you email your referrer and you say, okay, here's my screenshot, here's my Gmail, and then you you don't know what they're doing you know they might be out at the movies or bowling or sleeping at the time it might take them some time to get back with you and then when you get when the information gets back to you you're gonna have to get into the folder download the stuff 
open up the instructions, watch the setup video and do that. And it's actually uh, pretty easy to do. The video that was done is really excellent. I mean, it's exactly correct. All you have to do is just do exactly what is shown in the video. But the point is it might take you some time. It might be a whole day or two days. You don't know how long it's going to take for that person to get back to you. Don't sit and wait for it. Do what you can, run it once, and then on your phone set an alarm for two hours and 12 minutes or two hours and 10 minutes and then go back and log in and take the 60 seconds to run through the next one. Just do it manually until you can get the script set up. Now it may not be workable for you to do it every two hours and 10 minutes because you do have to sleep, but you know, if it's the middle of the night and it's been three or four hours, you've been sleeping, you had to get up to use the bathroom or get a drink of water, it's not going to kill you just to hop on and take uh, 45 or 60 seconds to run through a cycle to make, you know, whatever amount it is that you would make based on your balance. That way you're making some money, you're getting some reality on how it works. It's super simple. And, you know, just seeing your assets increase just a little bit and understanding like the brilliance of this software, that right there is enough for you to get pretty excited about it, even if you haven't withdrawn any money. And at that point, start telling other people about it. So we'll talk about that in another video.